Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got another unboxing review of a Mova Globe. Right, this time it's... Yeah, there's a different visual numbers on these anyway, but there's a slight difference on the boxes. The Earth and the Moon, for some reason, in the blue one. I'm not sure if they were the older versions, or this is the new version, or vice versa. But this one is going to be the Mars, the planet Mars, which is one of our... Um, yeah, it, it's pretty close to us anyway, in, in the actual cosmos solar system anyway. But let me get you through the box art on this. Very different to the blue, the standard blue from the other two, from the Earth and the Moon. It just shows you a lot more, more silver on there. Picture of the Earth. This one is MG45 Mars. Con contains the Mova Mars, three-pronged stand, user manual, and made in China. So let's get open on this. There's no flap on the front, no tab on the front, so it just opens up like that. It starts off with the user manual. Let's go a quick flick through that. The standard with better place it with how to use it suggestions let me go through the suggestions actually because I think I've read that on the first two um, the outer shell is made of a bo bonded two hemispheres together yes we can see that when we see the line but we'll see that in a moment it's done carefully yes we suggest a lining so you don't see yeah put it on the equator so you don't really see it fluid is injected through the hole yeah we've actually I've actually seen that on with the other globes but yeah they do the different stands for these as well if you don't like the clear stand which is in here it comes with one plastic base and three prongs going one way there's a rounded section flatter section you don't you can put it in the other way but it doesn't really matter so much but it's probably better having it rounded so you don't accidentally scratch him over the lobe but I can't see why you would scratch it on a flat surface anyway it might possibly mark it but I don't know so more polystyrene plastic polystyrene is really nice it doesn't go through me like normal polystyrene does and there is Mars in the box absolutely lovely to see now top-down view of these videos means that with these being on a gyroscope I can't show you the rest just yet but it will show the top side the north pole with the ice on top there are other parts on here not quite sure i think that i'm not sure if you can see that because i can't literally turn it around but i think the olympus mons is there so the planitia the utopia planitia on here as well but these are absolutely fascinating you can just turn around but the inner parts do not move absolutely brilliant so they are solar paneled they're all just collect light you see that line across there now that just goes so you can, can't really see it and there's a dot right about there where they inject where are we there where they inject the oil in and make sure that these are fully sealed in you do get some where they've i think they've either leaked or the oil has evaporated for some reason over time but mine hasn't mine works fine See, when it's got enough light, they will go the correct way. For some reason, this is going the wrong way, but I think that is perfectly normal anyway. So it's just getting itself a little bit balanced. Once the oil has stopped moving around, which I've been moving it to make it turn around, it will get itself its own momentum and get going. I mean, Mars is, a, is a, I think it's half the size of the Earth on planet, proper planet, planet scale. It's almost a complete desert. You've got which used to be active volcanoes you've got canyons you've got mountains you've got desert you've got a carbon monoxide atmosphere or is it carbon dioxide it's carbon dioxide atmosphere and you can't breathe it but it would be an amazing thing to actually go to mars and walk along the planet have something but this won't be in our generation it'll be for centuries to come i don't know there are actually planning on doing Mars missions, whether or not they will actually do them or not. There's actually one mission that they've actually they've planned, which is going to be a one-way ticket, and there's a lot of people who have volunteered for it. If everything works fine, they get things actually landed on, on Mars for for how these people are going to live, and then the people can go over there, then, then it could be a permanent settlement. It could happen. They could also die on the way there, but hey-ho, you just don't know at the moment. So we'll, we'll keep his eye on that anyway and see what happens in the coming decades, I suppose. 
but it is a fascinating prospect you can't there's less atmosphere on here there's barely any atmosphere so the slowing down to get onto mars is tricky because when we get probes coming into earth it will skip off the atmosphere and, and slow down with with air braking with with the actual atmosphere and the air on earth there's not that much on mars so it's trickier to get things on but there's less gravity as well anyway so it's it's kind of a compromise you have got rov rovers on there we have got things that will plod along the planet which is really nice but this is not a mars mission review this is for the move the globe i mean it's absolutely fascinating to watch i'm just sitting here watching it open it will get its proper power and go the the correct way which it's attempting to it will at least at the moment now it's not doing the wrong way it's actually just stopping and then getting enough charge to go the right way but while we're getting charged into this we'll get this i've got a setup over there we'll get it set up in front and we'll have a good detailed look at mars on the stand on the right way so i'll get the camera alongside so you can have a proper detailed look of mars so let me get this set up and, and get you over there there's Mars spinning quite casually showing there's this massive gouges on the planet right down to earthquakes whether it's down to rivers we don't know we're only starting to discover exactly what Mars is whether it's a dead planet whether or not it's a, a planet that's ready to to spark into life we just don't know fascinating world to attempt to even try to do anything with a lot of crater work we have a lot of craters on the earth but things grow over the top of our craters there's mars it just shows you there's so much history there but with the, the coming round now this the center part the gouges there there's just massive cracks has to have been done by by earthquakes it just cracks straight but it's it's quite a precise line there for the size of it it's ridiculous and the olympus mons has gone past one of the biggest volcanoes that we know about get you in a little bit maybe we can see some more there we go The detail on these is, is stunning when you get so close into them. It's amazing. Yeah, there's the gouges. It's amazing how, how that is. Is it natural? I don't. We just don't know. It's an amazing picture though. And you see. Fascinating to watch these. Such a dead world, or is it a dead world? Just don't know. We just really do not know. I say I could just watch, sit and watch these all day, casually spinning around happily. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So let's get this back onto the bench and have another look at it. Yeah, absolutely fascinating to watch these. And there you have it, we're back on the bench. So they're, they're, they're a wonderful thing, they're so well detailed. It, it's, it's, it baffles me that you can actually see something like this nowadays, but it's, it's an amazing piece of technology, watching the, the another world go revolving round. So, it's so peaceful, just watching it. So anyway, end of that. I've got plenty of other reviews of Mova Globes. I've got tons of different videos on my channel if you'd like to like and subscribe. And we'll 
yeah, I've got, have a dig around, see what you can find. I've got absolutely stacks of stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye for now.